Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to EFL Cup predictions. Obviously second round's been and gone. A few um, surprises in the second round which I will recap as I go through these games. Um, the other results, you know, a more, bit more expected. No disrespect to the lower league clubs whatsoever. Um, Guys, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. Uh, they've agreed to some my first time on show, I should say. And the links for that are down in the descriptions below. But guys, you know what I do. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Arsenal versus Knox Forest. Arsenal, um, how do you summon them up? You know, they win their first Europa League game quite comfortably. But not to worry, they're also on the up in the championship. I think it's going to be one of them games where Arsenal will go give their young boys a chance. And Nottingham Forest might just turn up a bit more than what Arsenal are expecting. Um, but, you know, it is at the Emirates, so for this game, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Nottingham Forest win. My next one is Colchester versus Tottenham Hotspur. Colchester knocked Crystal Palace out in the last round of 5-4 on penalties. Now, if I remember rightly, that... It was 0-0 all, all through 120 minutes. And then obviously, as I just said, Colchester knocking Palace out on penalties. A uh, good result for Colchester. Um, I can't quite remember if the team Palace played. But, yeah, Colchester getting their rewards. Um, getting Tottenham at home. Obviously, bring a lot of money went into their club, hopefully. Hopefully Tottenham play some of the big boys, some of the first team players, um, to make to make it more exciting for the Colchester fans to see the likes of Harry Kane, Ericsson, Son, Deli Ali, and obviously a lot more. Um But where do you go on the Tottenham front? Um Tottenham 2-2 two -two in the Champions League after going 2-0 up. You know, there's a lot of things that's got to be answered at Tottenham. Not just now, but across the season. Can they hold their own, for example? Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm just going to give it a little... I think it's going to be a little step too far for Colchester to handle. So I'm going to go for a 3-1 Tottenham win. My next one is Crawley versus Stoke. Crawley knocking Premier League Norwich out in the first round, uh, second round, sorry. Um, you know, 1-0. I think the goal came quite early in that game. Um, you know, with Norwich, with obviously being a Premier League team as well, it makes it a bit more surprising. Um, but where do you... You know, I'm I'm thinking that Crawley enjoyed that result. Yet again, it proves that we small teams can beat the big clubs. Um, Stoke, on the other hand, I've, yeah, I beat Leagues five four on penalties. Um, you know, I think that penalty went went for the last penalty as well. Went to Southern Death. But as far as this one goes, I'm going to give it to Crawley. Stoke Cape Town, not that well at all in the championship at the minute. And I'm going to go for a 2 0 Crawley Town win. My next one is Luton Town versus Leicester. Um, Luton Town are doing okay in League One. Um, you know, yet again, big game for their fans, a big night out. Probably look forward to a night out. If you're a Luton Town fan, please feel free to comment um, what you think about Leicester coming to your club. Um, and the same with Colchester as well, with Tottenham Hotspur. 
Leicester in the Premier League are, you know, doing what they've been doing. And, you know, there's the odd transfer thing coming in and now and again. I will touch more on that with the transfer window um, if transfers do happen. Um, but as far as this one goes, I'm going to give it to Leicester and I'm going to go for a 2 1 Leicester win. My next one, and it's the big one, well, one of the big ones, is Portsmouth versus Southampton. Now, you that don't know, um, obviously your football fans should probably know this, but I'll tell you anyway. Um, it's actually Portsmouth, Southampton. This is, that's a big derby, um, in all honesty. It's... You know, with Portsmouth and Southampton, the big gap that they are at the minute, um, Portsmouth down in League One, Southampton in the Premier League, you know, these Wolves always had that bit of rivalry. This is going to be a game I'm going to be looking forward to. Um, Portsmouth in League One are doing, yet again, sort of okay. Southampton... We're in a bit of a mixed bag at the minute. Um, drawing to United. I can't remember how I got on. Uh, weekend just gone. Um, but, you know, with one of them things, I'm going to give this one to Portsmouth. I'm just going to think they want it a little bit more. And I'm going to go for a 2 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Preston Northern versus Manchester City. Yet again, a big um, trip, uh, you know, big surprise for Preston. Man City coming to Deepdale. Um, Man City ain't been that great of late either. Um, you know, you're talking about Premier League champions, but five points off of Liverpool as it stands. Um, could be more. But where do I call this one? I'm going to say this goes into penalties. And I'm going to go for a 5 4 Preston penalty win. Um, the next one is Sheffield Wednesday versus Everton. Yeah, again, Everton going to Hillsborough. Um, Sheffield Wednesday, this is going to be a really dodgy game, I think. Yet again, I think this one goes to penalties, and I'm going to go for a 3 2 um, Everton win on penalties. The next one is Watford versus Swansea City. And um, just in case you think I've gone over 12, yes, I am, I'm doing all of them. And um, Watford getting a point against Arsenal. Their first ever point in the Premier League. Could possibly be more. Um, Swansea. They seem to, you know, be doing okay in the championship. I'm going to call this one another shock. And I'm going to go put a 2 0 Swansea win at full time. My next one is Brighton over Albion versus Aston Villa. Brighton in the Premier League should probably be in more points than what they've got. Yet again, Villa, you know, a really hard to predict um, of late. They go to away games, they go to. You know, it's a really hard game to predict. Um, but I'm going to go for a 1-0 Brighton win. And I'm expecting a lot of the boys to play in that as well. My next one is Burton Albion versus Bournemouth. Burton Albion, you know, are doing okay. Um, same with Bournemouth. Just going to give you the result for this one. And I'm going to go 
for a one nail Bournemouth win. My next one is Chelsea versus Grimsby. Chelsea under the you know the pressure they've got and stuff alike, they're doing okay. Um playing the young boys. Tommy Abraham just signed a new deal with Chelsea as well, uh, securing his future. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm going to go for a 2-0 Chelsea win. My next one is MK Dons versus Liverpool. Liverpool, five points clear of the Premier League. Could possibly be more. Um, but where do you go if you're an MK Dons fan? Obviously, I think MK Dons was set out um, purely because it is Liverpool. Uh, I'd be very surprised if it don't set out. Uh, I know they've got a big ground, um, as you can see behind me. Um, and they do struggle to sell seats. I mean, I think I've seen one game this season. It's half empty. I mean, you know, it really is... I think MK Dons is supposed to be in the championship problem, all honest with you as well, but obviously they're not. Um, Liverpool, you know, as I said, five points clear on, on, on top of the Premier League table. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 3-0 Liverpool win after 90 minutes. My next one is Oxford versus West Ham. Um, Oxford, you know, doing their thing. Same with West Ham. Uh, I'm going to go to penalties with this one. And I'm going to go for a 3-2 West Ham win after penalties. My next one is Sheffield United versus Sunderland. Sheffield United are doing okay in the Premier, uh, Premier League. Some of them doing okay in League One. Um, but as far as this one goes, I'm going to give it to Sunderland and I'm going to go for a 2 1 Sunderland win after 90 minutes. My next one is Wolverhampton versus Reading. Um, Reading, you know, ain't. I ain't doing that uh, badly, but I ain't been that great either. Wolverhampton are yet to win a Premier League game. Or, you know, I could have done by this goes up. Um, but Tom recording this, you know, they're still yet to play. And, you know, I ain't seen nothing of balls. If you watch my Premier League predictions, you get my true thoughts on them as well. Um... I haven't won a game in your way play, they've lost their first one. Um but Wolves are starting to see the struggle now and I'll you know I sang at the start of the season. Um but for that I'm gonna give it to Reading and I'm gonna go for a three one Reading win. The only reason I'll give that to Reading as well is hopefully so Wolves get knocked out, they start concentrating on the league and your I think Wolves have Took the Premier League by storm, which is great. Um, you know, fair play to them. But now they start to see the real impact of playing Europa League, Premier League, Cup matches, all that. I mean, Wolverhampton got what? Uh, three games in the space of four days, four or five days, you know. It's not good on Wolverhampton's point of view whatsoever. That's why I'll give this one to Reading. My last one for this weekend, weekend midweek EFL Cup games, um, is Man United versus Rochdale. Man United, you know, just winning their Europa League game by a Greenwood goal. Now, with United, this way it frustrates me a lot with... Man United spending all this money and they've got a good player like Greenwood and they've got a few good other youngsters as well. Um, I think this is where the Premier League need to play, need to pay, you know, put a bit more effort on the 
uh, top clubs in the Premier League especially to bring their academy boys through. Um, as I said, Greenwood, uh, Greenwood um, academy players scored in Europa League and all them players that mean I bought couldn't score. So that says it already. But as far as this game goes, I'm going to give it to Man United and I'm going to go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. But guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.